What's going to happen? Something wonderful. 1980 science fiction has all of those elements that make greatness in cinema and storytelling. It changed everything. And you know, I loved it. We felt so creative and we were so loose. Wow, what a great concept. It's the positiveness that made for repeat viewing. It's timeless. Knock me out. Surpasses our brains and goes straight to our heart. Sci-fi truly came of age and exploded in the 80s. It's time to start running! The whole audience for science fiction came alive. It's a ripe genre full of twists and offshoots. It was sci-fi movies that you began to take seriously. Showing people the dysfunction that we were headed for. I was the ultimate tough guy. I ain't got time to bleed. It just comes together as a thrill ride. What pulp does best. Badass sci-fi. Yeah! It still plays. I loved looking up into the stars and imagining what's up there. What I see is possibility, all kinds of possibilities. It's a completely conceivable future. That tells us about ourselves as human beings. I love things that have themes like that. I love the idea that you could just be transported somewhere in time. You built a time machine? What a DeLorean? And it's all about the character. My character, Rachel, was the heart and soul of that picture. Alex is essentially a very reluctant hero. Tron was a warrior. He dominated the game grid. We started getting threats about if Spock dies, you die. We've really reached the end of traditional visual effects. That was extraordinary filmmaking, man. Technologies that end up becoming real. The science has caught up to the science fiction. Shall we play a game? It is everything we have warned you against. I'll be back. Sometimes I'm still in awe, like I was in a James Cameron movie. George Lucas was a gift. He changed the whole world of cinema. This was supposed to be Stephen's little film. When he's hugging him and saying goodbye, I'm crying. I'm crying. I felt a part of a pioneering effort. We could miserably fail or we could wildly succeed. It really resonated to a lot of people. I like it if there's a bit of a human element. Those provocative stories are important for us. You thought we couldn't do it? Well, how do you like us now? These are times in your lives that you never forget. I want to hang on to those memories. Nostalgia connects us with our imagination. What might be? What could be? Can't we go back to what I grew up with, which is the beauty of sci-fi and imagination? It's full of stars. The audience was ready for it. The world was ready for it. And we all wish we could be back there in some way, doing that with those people at that time. That's one of the joys of cinema. That's the magic of sci-fi, man. This baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. We're at the Harmony Gold Theater and we have just watched the premiere of In Search of Tomorrow. I am really enriched by what we just watched. It's a profound and absolutely riveting tribute 
into a wonderful art form. It's a time capsule of a very important and significant era of film. It's connecting what you feel and what you remember of all of these movies that you grew up loving, remembering where you were, who you were with when you saw it, the effect it had on you. It's kind of freaky that the memories that it brings back. It's a beautiful trip down memory lane. If you were raised with these movies, you'll love it. And it's so exciting, and wow, I missed that time. Riveted. You did not lose me for one second. It's just a wonderful experience. The nostalgia will just overwhelm you. so great to see all the love that this film clearly has for those movies. It's so much fun. I wanted more. That's the sign of a good documentary right there. I think it's a great primer. Like, if you've not seen sci-fi like a new generation, watch this. I thoroughly enjoy it, and I'd recommend it. It's a really fun time. If you see one over four hour documentary about science fiction, this is it.